back to the Swedish Maker. Today we're gonna 3D print my head. In the last video I did a 3D scan of my head using a camera. If you didn't see that, check that out, link in the description. So today it's gonna be a full-size version of my head and I'm gonna use it to put my headphones on. Before I continue I have to finish the 3D model I created in the last episode. And I'm gonna do that in Mesh Mixer. So let's head back to the computer. I've opened up Mesh Mixer and I'm just gonna hit import. I'm gonna import my face and there it is. And then I'm gonna go to make solid because I want to make this model solid. As you can see there's a big hole in it. And it's gonna fill all the gaps in the model to make it solid and it's actually gonna look like it's texturized. So this is my 3D mesh. So the next part is I wanna make a plain cut and I also want to make a hole here for something to put the model on later. So I'm gonna hit accept. I'm gonna go to mesh mix and I'm gonna put this cylinder in so I can adjust this to be in the center like that and I'm gonna adjust the dimension to be around uh, 31 millimeters is just fine and I have to make sure the offset is just so it's popping outside and then I'm gonna choose boolean subtract so it's gonna make a big hole in the model so I'm gonna hit that so now I have that hole in the middle and I want to print this model in two parts and now I want to split it in half so I'm gonna go edit plain cut and I can choose where to make the plain cut and I'm not I don't want to discard half of it I want to keep both so I'm gonna hit accept and then I'm gonna go down to separate shells so if I hide this you can see I have both of the parts here so I want to save this part first so I'm gonna go to file export and I want to export it to an STL binary format bottom part save I'm gonna make the other part visible and export top part save so I have uh, 3d printed the model it's time to glue the pieces together and uh, sand it and use wood filler to fill all the gaps uh, let's go do that Now that the wood filler has dried, I'm gonna spray it with spray filler and then I'm gonna spray it with matte black paint and we'll see how it turns out. Now that the paint is drying, it's time to build a stand for the head and I'm gonna do that in Fusion 360, so back to the computer. 
So this is what uh, I want to create. It's just a simple plate with a cylinder on it, uh, which we can put. I can put, which I can put the head on. So we're gonna go and create a new document, create sketch, select the plane. We're gonna go create cylinder, and from the center point, we're gonna go 180 millimeters, and we're gonna extrude that maybe 25. Yeah, 25 is good. Hit OK. We're going to go to the top. And from here, we're going to create a hole. There are many ways to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it right now. It's 22 millimeters wide so that it's going to fit the bottom of the head. And I'm just going to make it 5 millimeters there because we're going to change that. So from here, we're going to go create, extrude, select the middle point here, and we're going to extrude that up to 110 millimeters. Hit OK. And there we have it. And now you just have to go make 3D print. If you want to send it directly to Cura, you can do that. I'm just going to save it. And once you open up Cura and import it, this is what it's going to look like. Now let's print it. So I think that turned out really great. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check the links down below for other videos I've made. And see you in the next one. Crap in. Why is there always a lot of crap inside? It's like ruining the surface of the phone.